Hey everyone, it's DJ Alex Brown here, and I'm just doing a quick intro to this video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of DJ City, the music pool music service for DJs. And I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't realize that you could just look at their entire catalog without being a member. So let's take a look at their catalog and let's talk about DJ City and if it's the right pool for you. I will also compare this to some of the other pools that I've reviewed on my channel, but you can also check out those reviews in the cards up over in these areas uh, and at the end of the video and in the video description. So I'm doing this video in a little bit different format because I, number one, don't want to spend all the time editing the videos like I used to, and number two, um, because new is good, right? So here's the thing. I usually start by talking about pricing and let's start there. DJ City offers a couple of different plans, but they're really all the same plan. It's just a matter of how many months you're gonna subscribe and if you're gonna do monthly or six months. They do have an intro offer, as you can see here, $10 for the first month. A month to month subscription, you're gonna pay $30 a month. If you do a six month subscription, uh, you're going to pay about $25 per month. And of course you do get that first month for $10. You're saving $30 on the six month subscription. And this is pretty well in line with other subscriptions that I've seen. And technically BPM Supreme is now like BPM music. I, I don't know what their deal is, but um, as you can see, you can basically view for free like you can with DJ City, um, but $23 per month for just downloads basically, and $35 a month for their premium, which has the exclusive playlists. To me, the premium is not worth that price. Um, the other thing is while there is some Latin music on BPM Supreme, you can pay for both at, um, you know, basically the price of both. If you take a look at Crate Connect, 30 days is $22, no gimmicks on that. 90 days, you save $11, 180 days, it's a hundred bucks. Uh, so you're saving $33 there. Now, if we go back to DJ City and take a look at that, have a great intro offer. Now, you guys, here's one of the things that I want to point out. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Alex, what subscription are you using right now? Well, it's kind of a complicated answer because I use Crate Connect because I'm partnered with them, but Crate Connect doesn't have everything. It's very hard as if you're DJ, you've been doing this a while, I'm sure you know it's very hard to find everything in one place. I have not found a pool yet that truly has that, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. I use Crate Connect because it's kind of the cheapest option. And once in a while, what I'll do if I need tracks that are on BPM Supreme is I'll just subscribe for a month and then cancel it at the end of the month. Now, what I did to test DJ City is I started putting in tracks that, as far as the catalog go, are things that I could not find on Crate Connect or BPM Supreme. Sometimes in the case of things that maybe BPM Supreme had, Crate Connect didn't, I checked on DJ City. And to be honest, I would have subscribed to DJ City if they had the stuff that I need, but it really doesn't seem worth it to me. And this is my honest, you know, opinion. Now that might be because I'm a mobile DJ. From what I've seen on DJ City, it seems very focused on like remixes and edits and stuff like that. So it seems maybe more geared towards the club DJ. Um, let's take, for example, a song that's popular right now, which is like that. Another thing is when you're browsing through the catalog, as you can see here, you know, if I were to search like that on BPM Supreme, I would get maybe two results. They, BPM Supreme actually used to look like this, probably still did in the video I did a couple of years ago but now it's kind of much more cleaned up. The search is a lot better. Uh, DJ City is lagging behind in that regard. And, you know, I just added another keyword and I'm still not finding 
the song that I'm looking for. So as far as the search, not all that great. And while there's a lot of selection here, it's not the song that I'm looking for, which there does seem to be a fair amount of variety of music here. You know, having some clearly hip hop rap stuff, some EDM remixes, um, pop stuff. It's lacking in terms of there's a popular song that's out. Now, as far as the catalog of back catalog, I like to gauge this now using Bob Marley, Could You Be Loved? So that's what I'm gonna look up here, especially because that's one that generally you can't find uh, for whatever reason. I haven't found it on any DJ pool except, and it's not a pool, beat source. We'll talk about that in a minute. So Could You Be Loved isn't here. Let's try an easy one that every wedding DJ needs to have. September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Don't have September. So to me, that's a, a no-go. For me, this service was not even worth subscribing to. I'm sure they have great remixes. Again, probably better for the club DJ. I do have some club DJ friends that I know have used or still use DJ City. But if you're a mobile DJ, and this is probably the first time I'm saying this in a review video, DJ City is not, probably not right for you. Let's take a look for a moment at the edits that they have in the catalog. I'm just gonna search for something that, you know, should have intros, clean, dirty, etc. So let's look for intro here. Can we see the versions? Here we go. Okay, so we can see the versions here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you can't see what versions are available with the track itself. You know, I'd either like to see individual tracks for each version like Crate Connect does, um, or like what BPM Supreme has, uh, where they have like little boxes down here, which have intro clean, intro dirty, whatever, and you can listen to those. Or I think it's DMS that does, they have just like individual download boxes over here or something. I know there's one service that does that, but I can't remember which one it is. So we can see here, acapella, intro clean, intro dirty. So they have some good versions for this. Um, granted, this is a, you know, if you don't have it, type song, which I would argue like that is right now too, but maybe that's just in my corner of the country, I don't know. Another thing I've noticed a lot of pools do not have is Travis Scott stuff. They do have some Travis Scott. Let's look for a popular Travis Scott song right now. Fiend, not seeing it here, um, which isn't that uncommon. Uh, I don't think BPM Supreme or Crate Connect have it either. So, DJ City does have a mobile app. There's a desktop app and there is a mobile app. I've not used the mobile app because again, I'm not subscribed and it's not worth for me paying to subscribe to this service. It's just not worth it. Um, which again is like the first time I think I've actually said this in a video. Based on the screenshots and what I've seen about their mobile app, it seems very similar to BPM Supremes. So if you wanna go, you know, check out a, an old video I have on that, you can do that. Here's what I would say as far as what's included. You are getting the playlists in that $30 a month tier. So, um, What's kind of funny is that you can see them just by having an account. So I don't know why you would really necessarily pay for it. Um, I'm just looking at these and saying, interesting, um, you know, to me, this playlist was not very put together. I think there's one song on here that is actually popular in my area right now. So I don't know who's putting these together. Let's take a look at the charts. And again, the playlists and charts and things are included. Whereas sometimes like BPM Supreme, you have to pay extra for the playlist. These charts I would assume are just, yeah, they're just top tracks for each month. And you know, there's some nice stats here, but you can basically see these just by having a free account. You don't necessarily need to subscribe. And I mean, that kind of tracks because 
I don't think it's worth subscribing for these playlists. I haven't paid for BPM Supreme's playlists, but I have done some searching and seen like they have really good playlists. Okay, I have to do a quick interruption in the video here because I misspoke when I shot this originally and said that BeatSource owned DJ City, which is not correct. I believe the way it correctly works is that DJ City and Beatport are a collaboration which forms BeatSource. So basically BeatSource draws on both the DJ City and Beatport catalogs and is kind of this intermediary and DJ City and Beatport are kind of separate entities. I don't know if it's still that way. It's been a little hard to find that information online. So just wanted to clarify that. BeatSource is a completely different service. I did a review a long time ago. It could use some updating. Um, we could talk about BeatSource all day, but BeatSource has a small selection on that platform of DJ City tracks because they're kind of in with the uh, record labels, it works a little differently, but you can buy individual tracks on BeatSource. So what I found is that because I do mostly weddings and there's not a lot of mu new music out right now, I use Crate Connect and then I just bought some individual tracks on um, BeatSource because that was the best way to do it. Now, I couldn't get intros that way, unfortunately. You cannot buy the intro tracks, which really is annoying, but I went and just made my own intros. I have the skill to do that, so I did that. But let me say this, let's, let's take this as the wrap up to the video. In conclusion, which DJ pool would I choose? For me, like I said, DJ City is not the right pool for me. So who is DJ City right for? I would say if you're a club DJ, DJ City might be right for you. If you're doing anything besides clubs, I don't really think DJ City is right for you. I would say look at Crate Connect, look at uh, BPM Supreme. If you wanna check out Crate Connect, I do have a referral code uh, down in the, in the description. Here's what I wanna mention about BeatSource. I'd really actually like to do a BeatSource re-review, like a 2024 update, because it's been about four years since I've used that service. But BeatSource is the same in that you can go on and view their catalog of things that can be downloaded or streamed online. As long as you have an account, you can log on, you can see the whole catalog. Now, the thing about BeatSource is that you can't keep the music if you stop subscribing because it's not a download, it's encrypted. Um, people have asked many questions about this on my video on BeatSource. So my recommendation is if you're doing more weddings and things, I think BeatSource is probably the better option for you, but you have to really commit to it and pay 30 plus dollars a month every month to be able to get that. They do have things on BeatSource that I have not been able to find anywhere else on a you know, DJ pool, DJ streaming platform, whatever. And it's made for DJs. The challenge is BeatSource doesn't even have an app that you can use. You know, I don't think it's worth paying for Spotify and BeatSource. Um, and you know, that's what the record labels are controlling there. What's also funny to me is that DJ City stuff is not all available on BeatSource and BeatSource stuff is not all available on DJ City. Beatport is also looped into this, but I'm not going to get into that. That'd make this video way too long. So kind of in summary, is DJ City right for you? I'd say the only way DJ City is probably going to be right for anyone is if they are exclusively a club DJ and don't do anything else. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on this, please let me know in the comments and uh, let me know if you liked this new format, if you prefer more the old format of just kind of me sitting in front of the camera, not really showing my screen. I'm gonna thank everyone at this point for watching the video and make sure you click some of the links to check out my other DJ Music Pool um, review videos. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, peace.